Spring has sprung people, and if you're like me who works from home, there are plenty of sunshiny distractions to keep me from getting focused on my work. So today we're gonna to talk about my best practices for staying focused while working from home. Folks, working from home has a ton of advantages, but when you're in isolation, it can be hard to stay focused. Right now, this time of year, it's usually springtime and it's sunshine and patios, but year round, it can really derail you from your productivity efforts. Now, I did a blog post about staying focused when working from home, and you can find that link in the description for this video. So today I'm sharing some of my best practices for staying focused while working from home. Number one, schedule your time. Use your calendar and put in blocks of time that you're going to protect fiercely to get some strategic work done. Don't answer your phone, don't answer your email, but focus on the task at hand and use the most of that time. Family buy-in. Make sure that your family, friends, and spouse know that you're working when you're working from home. Now, I have a husband who also works from home, so he gets it, but at the same time, we have very strict ground rules when we're working in this exact same space together, trying to get stuff done. So make sure that your family is bought in to the fact that when you are working from home, you are actually working when you're at home. Number three, dedicated office space. Make sure you have a space just to your own that you can get work done. It's more of a mental thing than anything else, but it gets you in the game. So make sure that you have your own space. Number four, take breaks that include exercise and a change of scenery. By moving around and shifting your perspective, you're gonna be more focused when you come back to your desk. I assure you of that. And number five, accountability. Now I'm very lucky, I have a business partner and we're very accountable to one another. We talk every single morning about our goals for the day so that the next morning we can follow up with each other to make sure that we've achieved our goals. But if you don't have a business partner like myself, make sure that you find an accountability partner. Maybe it's a colleague from your office who also works from home, but someone that you can be accountable to and report to on a daily basis. Do you also work from home? I want to hear your productivity tips. Please share them with the community by commenting on this video. Those are my productivity tips for working from home. If you'd like to see my videos each Tuesday, make sure you follow me on LinkedIn. And if you'd like to learn more about the complimentary services that we provide for meeting planners, jump on over to our website at conferencesource.net. Thanks for watching. See you soon.